La Bufera e Ultro, by Eugenio Montale represents a pivotal collection in his poetic career, reflecting a more mature and introspective exploration of themes such as suffering, love, history, and the human condition. Published in 1956, it offers a response to the trauma of World War II, grappling with the chaos, loss, and existential uncertainty that the war left behind. The Storm, or Bufera, serves as a central metaphor for the turmoil of both personal and collective history. Montale's use of dense and elusive language conveys the emotional and philosophical weight of the post-war period. Montale's poetry in this collection exhibits a tension between the private and the public, between personal experiences of love and despair and the broader historical context. The storm metaphor captures the disarray and violence of the time, not only in a political sense but also in a spiritual and emotional one. Montale does not shy away from expressing his disillusionment with the world, yet there is a persistent, if subtle, hope for redemption or meaning amidst the chaos. This hope is fragile, and the collection often dwells on the inability to find solace or clarity in either personal relationships or political ideologies. The poems feature a recurring figure, often thought to represent Montale's lover, Clizia, whose presence brings a sense of ethereal beauty and elusive grace to the turbulent world depicted in the poems. Clizia, however, is not a traditional muse, she is distant and symbolic, embodying purity and transcendence rather than being grounded in the earthly or tangible. This juxtaposition between her spiritual, almost divine nature and the grim reality of the post-war landscape creates a poignant tension. In Montale's poetry, Clizia offers a fleeting glimpse of salvation, but like the storm, she is unpredictable and ephemeral. The structure of the poems reflects this emotional and thematic complexity. Montale's language is often fragmented, filled with images that are difficult to interpret yet deeply evocative. The disjointed nature of his verses mirrors the fractured world he is writing about, where meaning is elusive, and certainty is lost. He frequently employs natural imagery, storms, birds, light, and water, to evoke both the beauty and violence of life. These images shift and change, much like the emotions and experiences Montale describes. The result is a poetry that feels organic and alive, always in flux and resisting easy interpretation. Despite the bleakness that pervades many of the poems, there is also a sense of resilience. Montale seems to acknowledge that while life is filled with suffering and uncertainty, there is still a value in confronting and articulating these feelings. The act of writing poetry becomes, for him, a form of resistance against meaninglessness. His language, though often obscure, is precise in its evocation of emotion and thought, suggesting that even in a world turned upside down by war and loss, there is still a place for art and expression. One of the central themes in the collection is the idea of memory and its relation to time. Montale reflects on the passage of time and the way memories haunt the present, sometimes offering comfort but more often serving as reminders of what has been lost. His exploration of time is closely tied to his examination of history, particularly the way the past continues to influence and shape the present. In this sense, Montale's poetry in La Bufera e Ultro is not just a personal reflection but also a commentary on the broader human experience in the aftermath of catastrophe. Montale's language in this collection is spare but layered with meaning, demanding careful attention from the reader. He avoids overt political statements, yet the historical context of the poems is unmistakable. The storm is not just a metaphor for personal emotional upheaval but also for the collective trauma of a world ravaged by war. Through his poetry, Montale captures the difficulty of finding meaning in such a world, yet he also hints at the possibility of resilience and survival, even in the face of overwhelming adversity.